Meet Caden, Maisie, Bolu and Millie. We'll be following them across the series as they let us know what it's like to be a regular hospital outpatient. They invite us into their lives, at home and as they undergo treatment. Meet 11-year-old Maisie. Hello. Maisie lives with her mum, dad, brother and dog Poppy. She has celiac disease. It means that you can't have gluten, which is wheat, barley, rye, malt and oats. And as a result, Maisie is unable to eat everyday food such as bread, pasta and pizza. If I eat gluten, I end up getting the runs, I get sharp stomach pains, I feel sick and I just basically want to lie in bed and go to sleep. Maisie is so sensitive to gluten that everything food related has to be separated to avoid her coming into contact with it. So I have my own ketchup and butter to make sure that no cross-contamination goes on there. We've started doing a lot more home cooking and baking since I've been celiac. So we make gluten-free chicken nuggets. We grated frozen gluten-free loaf and then we put it onto the chicken. It's lots of fun. Luckily for Maisie, there are also special gluten-free versions of some of her favourite takeaway foods. So we're watching a film and I've got a gluten-free pizza and Jess has a normal pizza because she's normal. So we're enjoying our sleepover. Find out how I get on next time. Bye! Ouch. Meet Caden, Maisie, Bolu and Millie. We're following them across the series as they let us know what it's like to be a regular hospital outpatient. They're inviting us into their lives, at home and as they undergo treatment. We're catching up with 11-year-old Maisie. Hello. She has celiac disease, which means she can't eat gluten, found in wheat, barley and rye. So I'm going to make myself my lunch for school. I have um, some brownie, which I made last night, gluten-free. And I'm going to have some homemade gluten-free chicken nuggets that my mum did last night. Have a fruit salad and some cucumber. And a bag of crisps as well. And these are really good because they have the gluten-free symbol on them. Maisie's lunch is often different to her school friends because many things they eat contain gluten. So here's what Jess has got. She's got some crisps which I wouldn't be able to eat. This foil had a sandwich in it and I couldn't have had it because bread's not naturally gluten free because it has flour in it which has wheat in it which would make me really ill. So all I would have been able to eat out of this lunch would have been the banana. Maisie! It's important Maisie eats the correct food, so her body can extract energy from it like the rest of her class. So we've just eaten our lunch, we've come outside to play a big game of netball. Now if I'd have eaten something with gluten in my lunch then I wouldn't have been able to do this and I would have been stuck inside and probably waiting for mom to, my mum to come and pick me up to take me home so I could get back in bed because I wouldn't be feeling well at all. Find out how Maisie gets on next time when she visits her dietitian. Thanks for coming and visiting me in my school. Bye! Bye. Meet Caden, Maisie, Bolu and Millie. We're following them across the series as they let us know what it's like to be a regular hospital outpatient. They invite us into their lives, at home and as they undergo treatment. We're catching up with 11-year-old Maisie. Hello. She has celiac disease, which means she can't eat gluten. I have a hospital appointment with the dietitian. She's the person who tells me if I'm doing my gluten-free diet correctly. And I'm really hoping that she'll have my blood result. If it's good, then I should be able to eat oats. So that's super exciting. Fingers crossed. Maisie has regular tests to detect the levels of gluten antibodies in her blood. She needs her blood count to have gone down for her to be able to eat those oats. This was just after you were diagnosed. Yeah. And you were just under 32. Today it was just under 64, so it's going up. So it okay. means that there's some gluten sneaking in somewhere, basically. If you feel like you've stuck to it 100%, that's great, but there could be some contamination that we don't know about. Uh-oh, some pesky gluten has crept into Maisie's diet. If you get in a bit of the runs, have a sort of think about what have you eaten in the last 24 hours. Right. Keep a little diary if you need to, keep okay. a little notepad, and it might be over time when we start to see more of a pattern. I found out that my results had 
gone up at quite a steep hill so we're just under 64 so i can't eat oats which i'm pretty disappointed about Maisie's done well keeping an eye on her diet so far but there's a little bit more work to do see you later bye Meet Caden, Maisie, Bolu and Millie. We've been following them across the series as they show us what it's like to be a regular hospital outpatient. So, for one more time, let's catch up with 12-year-old Maisie. Hello. Hello. She has celiac disease and found out that some gluten was sneaking into her diet, so there's still a bit more work to do. I'm going on my, on my adventure trip with my class tomorrow for the week and I'm really excited but I'm also quite nervous obviously because of my like meal times and stuff. <laughs> to put Maisie's mind at rest, the kitchen staff on the adventure trip invite her in to show her the precautions they've taken to keep gluten out of her food. We keep that corner for all the gluten free and the gluten free toaster. So these two shelves are where we keep the gluten free all labelled so nothing gets put in that shouldn't be there. I'm feeling a lot better and a lot more confident about how my food and eating is going to be this week. Great news, Maisie. Now you can enjoy it. It's fun, but it's hard. Thanks for following my story. Bye. Bye. Bye.